Whilst they raised their voices, there were noises of men who were so scared of this woman and saying, come on to the woman. And in that, that was the indirect metaphoric saying, go down woman, go down, you don't belong to the world. Those were the words spoken by those who behave like the uh, intellectuals of false intellectuals of human beings who reasoned and said, Man is the head, you can be seen in the body. Those who reason with their sick mental capacity and saying, The woman lives and resides in kitchens. <laughs> those were the voices of the oppressed without knowing that they too were oppressing themselves, the mothers, the daughters of the soil who build this society to be what it is. Yeah. Remember the marches of women who took the initiative and saying, remember the voices of women, hey, what man cut the first Word that comes out is ma. These are the men who oppress. Popular education and informal education. Now, in the past 20 years, the college has been involved in using popular education for the building of the social movement, social justice movement. In the 1970s and 1980s. This work was mostly done with the most active groups in the process of the social mobilization. That is, the industrial working class and university and high school students. However, now the new social movements are composed of predominantly unemployed, informal sector, the self-employed, and most importantly, women. This has posed an important challenge as to how to deal with the immediate issues of survival at the same time as the movements address the broader issues of social, economic and political power. Further, many of the activists in the new movements have limited organizational experience. Sustaining levels of mobilization, organization, solidarity building within local and global contexts are some of the key challenges facing the new activists. Thus, for popular education institutions like Kanye College, it is important that we play a role in developing popular educational merits. Thus, for popular education institutions like Kanye College, it is important that we play a role in developing popular educational methodologies about history is also another form of popular education and as part of conscientizing people about its educational value, a tour was organized to the library, workers' library museum to show people how heritage can be used to educate people about themselves. Radio as an educational tool was also discussed during the school. Rasa FM, a local radio projected by as an educational tool was also discussed during the school. Rasa is a low power radio project founded by Slumko and Mahadeva was present at the school to broadcast the conference live at selected periods during the day to the delegates. Rasa FM also trained a few journalists in the basics of interviewing for radio as well as program planning and production. To implement this, a group of volunteer and journalists were involved in the daily production of Imbilayes, the official newsletter of the Winter School. This year, Imbilayes was printed on A3 newsprint paper and was, as usual, very popular with the delegates. This group, which attended study groups, activities, poetry, music, Banner-making and photography sessions explored how these forms of communication can lie in the practice of popular education. 
Further, five specialist groups were selected. Women, the youth, rural communities, trade unions and social movements with the aim of looking at the history and practice of popular education in these sectors. Throughout the deliberations, participants and speakers were asked to bring to bear a gender perspective and analysis in the debate on various topics, draw lessons from past experience of the popular education movement, draw lessons from international experience of the popular education movement, and strive to locate the theory and practice of popular education in an African context. In particular, the gender issue proved to be a popular during the conference. Many delegates asking why, despite the high prevalence of women in the new social movements, many women were still not able to take up any leadership positions in these organizations. The Winter School Media Team decided to go around seeking people's opinion on the reasons for the serious and Really the question why, and that needs to be addressed, and we should also ask why are men more readily available for participation? It can also be the point that they are free, no children to look after, so they are readily available. Okay, Sis Mozik. Why do you think that the women are not um, fully involved in leading struggles today? I don't think women are not leading struggles. Women are there in the struggles. In the matches, we see women in numbers. In most organizations, women are leading and they are in the majority. But women are not rising to the position either because uh, they are not forwarded to or they don't feel confident enough. And women do raise uh, important and intelligent arguments. And and they do participate, but as secretaries of organizations, and I think that it's about time that women rise up to those pro to senior positions and take up their role. Okay, mm. what can we do to ensure that women participate fully and take up leadership position of our struggle today? I think one of the initiatives that Kanga has made is that firstly, for women to participate, like what Kanya College did this year, providing childcare and adopting it, that will uh, enable women to participate. Also, there needs to be an education and we need to as social movement to mainstream gender issues to make sure and we need to transform not only as women but as comrades because comrades are still uncomfortable when the word gender is mentioned gender is still seen as a woman's thing so until we begin to teach gender as the struggle that all of us need to actually take on a serious note it's not only about women, but women need to be lifted their burden in their homes because as women, even as activists who sometimes live, we have different faces because they're the same women in media will be a different woman at home because of patriarchy and because of the systems that we find ourselves in and because of the double oppression but in an attempt as movements to have a more egalitarian society based on equality, freedom, and as soon as we as women become confident to start claiming our space, claiming our rights, and realizing that if I was a man, I wouldn't readily give away the power, I would fight mm. to maintain the status quo. So sometimes it means just going out there and taking it by force. Oh, thank you for input, uh, Comrade Nozick.